Some sad news just after coming through, folks, on the death of the inimitable Mick O'Toole, better known simply as Mick O, of course, at 86 years of age in Dublin following a short illness. Mick O was one of the most popular and influential figures on the racing scene on either side of the IRC throughout the second half of the 20th century. But as much as he'll be remembered in the coming days for his famous victories, his legendary gambles and his landmark achievements, it's as a person he'll also be warmly recalled because he was such a decent, down-to-earth, witty kind of character who regaled his victories after the event and, and endeared himself to people in the, in the manner that he did. He was just a really humble guy who came from ordinary or, origins as a greyhound trainer at the beginning of the 1960s. He trained Royal Ascot winners, he trained a classic winner in Dickens Hill who also won the 1979 Eclipse Stakes, but it's probably over jumps that he left the most indelible legacy. Mikko trained eight Cheltenham Festival winners, um, one of which was a uh, Gold Cup in 1977 with Davy Ladd, of course, ridden by none other than Desi Hughes. And he also trained a champion chase winner, Chin Roller, who was subsequently disqualified. Um, so he leaves a lasting impression. He's going to be greatly missed by everyone in the racing fraternity on both sides of the Irish Sea. Uh, and he leaves behind his loving wife, Una, of course, and his children, Mags O'Toole, the well-known bloodstock agent, and Kieran O'Toole, the well-known jockey's agent.